Hello everyone, all right, it's winter season and uh, not a lot of racing going on. I've finished my model, so I'm thinking of my next project. So I've been doing FPV for about six months now. Um, so I'm thinking I can fly the quads, but let's try and do FPV on a plane. So my next stage is gonna introduce a camera onto the plane. Uh, so then we can actually fly FPV. We're gonna mount it slightly back here so maybe we can see the wings, gives us a bit more of a uh, good chance of flying it in the air, I reckon. Also using the goggles. So Rob, why are you modifying things? How about we mount this uh, Estes rocket to it as well um, and give her a bit more boost. Interesting one. I reckon you're gonna mount this. We'll probably mount this on the bottom of the plane like this along these lines. That could work. We'll have a, a remote um, igniter on the on board so you can fly and then at will one of us can uh, hit the trigger oh, right. and, so and I've launch got no, this thing. I've got no choice in this so yes. when you want to go I go. Yes. Okay. Correct. And how are we going to stop it burning our tail off Adam? Um, <laughs> we can find some heat, heat tape that we'll put along the tail here yeah. and hopefully that will disperse some of the heat that comes out of the uh, engine. Are you trusted with rockets? No. None of us are. <laughs> I've actually never set one off. So we just, we just pull, we'll pull the plane apart. Mm -hmm. So now we'll get a bit of bolster in there, or a bit of ply actually. So in down in here, and we'll screw the rocket yeah, sure. into the ply, okay. and that should secure it nicely. And then we'll put a pin at the back here through the fin. So probably through here somewhere, we'll put a pin right through. And then it'll be all go. Because Rob came up with this ridiculous idea of putting a rocket on a plane. <laughs> no, that's you, we all know it's you. So, <laughs> we need to make a bit of a, uh, a subframe inside the plane so we can screw the uh, the rocket to the. That's really cool. I just want to remove that, don't we? Yeah. While Rob is off um, fiddling, this is our temporary tray. So this will go, hopefully, right down in here, like so. Mm -hmm. And try and go back as far as possible, which I think. That'll be fine there. So what we'll do is we'll glue this in with some glue. Mm -hmm. um, and then what we'll do is we're gonna drill a hole up through this plastic nose, um, clamp the whole lot together and then go straight up into that into that ply. You think this is gonna be strong enough? Should be. Good. <coughs> Every time I come in you finish doing the job. Well, it was a very cutting aluminium is probably one of the easiest metals to cut because it's so soft. Mm -hmm. But this is what's going to stop the rocket falling off the plane. So wedge in the tail into the plane. That's going to go through the tail. That ain't going off anytime soon. Do we have the igniter system ready? Yes, we have it. We have a. a I've, I've got one planned. So the question's asked: How are we going to set this rocket off remotely while I'm flying and Adam's going to have control? So Dr. Adam here. Professor, we should actually give you a lab coat. So he's worked out a mechanism by using a, this is an onboard glow. It's a ignition yeah. module um, kill switch. Yeah. So used mainly for um, your gas motors, two-stroke gas motors. Um, you can remotely cut a, a spark to an engine. We'll use this as, as, our, as our system. We've got our, our little igniter here, which this usually powers your, your um, ignition system. So in this case, we're, we're going to be supplying the 4.8 volt battery to the igniter, which this is what these, these little guys run off, through a, a secondary receiver. And you got a little light to say when to go. I'm going to see that. Well, the light, the light will come on when, when we activate it. <laughs> um, I'll look out for that when I've I'm just got to get, a, we'll get another plug so we can get some power to the receiver. And we'll show you a demonstration of um, how this thing will work. We're going to try and simplify so we can yeah. actually have a spare Power we will, we will, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll hook up the power supply so it runs totally independent from the plane system. So if there is any faults with this system, it's not going to affect the plane. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, we're there. So we're we're armed here. Um, we've got no light here at the moment, but this is our magic switch. We should maybe get like a graphic, the, the launch button. <laughs> yeah, they got to do like a proper countdown. <laughs> this is the launch button. And I'll flick the launch button. As I flick the launch button, you'll see the the actual igniter here light up. So test in three, two, one, and we didn't work. <laughs> like 
Well, the suspense didn't kill me for many year and you count down. And I, then did this happens. Have, I did have well, it on. You know, I'm going to be like, Adam. <laughs> I think we've got a flat battery here. Oh, no. All right. Second camera, second take. All Is right. the battery charged now? Yep. <laughs> so we've got our light there in three, two, one, zero. That's how we'll ignite the, uh, the rocket engine. Awesome. Looking cool. forward to it. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> <laughs> so we've now almost finished our rocket plane. It was going to be an FPV plane, now it's a rocket plane with FPV, with Adam's wonderful stickers. We just got a vinyl cutter at uh, Hobman today, and he's been loving cutting stickers out. So that's Adam's, con you know. And then we've managed to fix the rocket through at the back ears and the tail fin. We've got all the wiring all wired up. So we've got the igniter pit that's going to go onto the igniter that sticks to the rocket, all sticking out nicely. This is really well fixed on as well. Tape? Yeah, heat proof tape. I don't want my tail falling off. That could be a disaster. <laughs> so we've actually, this is actually used for uh, RC cars, uh, for the exhaust on a nitro car. It does protect the boy shell. And I thought it's good stuff to actually uh, put onto the thing to protect it a bit. How many layers? Uh, two just the back here, and then one just protecting this little thing, because that's in right in the direct line of the, the rocket. And I think that's gonna go so good. We don't know. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> so uh, he's put a bit of plywood to add a bit of strength in the front here. That's all drying. That was a bit sticky. So now we've got to fit the electrics back in. We're gonna tuck it as back as far as we can and get it on the COG so the plane still flies normal. Then um, we're gonna fit the FPV, which was meant to happen first, but um, I don't come. <laughs> so it's been good fun. We're, we're almost there. We need to sort out battery for the igniter, but we need something smaller because that's quite heavy to add it to it. Yeah, and I think give it a give it a couple of days. I think we're ready to um, have a test flight. All right, stay tuned.